100 Easy Ways to Lose a Man. Chapter 1 Now the first way to lose a man You've met a charming fellow and you're out for a spin The motor fails and he just wears a helpless grin Don't bat your eyes and say What a romantic spot we're in just get out, crawl into the car, tell us the gasket, and fix it in two seconds flat with a bobby pin. <laughs> That's a good way to lose a man. He takes you to a baseball game. You sit knee to knee. He says the next guy up at bat will bunt. You'll see. Don't say, oh, I should bunt. This game's too hard for little me. Because <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> just say bunt. What are you, nuts? With no outs, two men on base, and a left-handed batter coming up, you'll walk right into a triple play, just like it happened the fifth game of the World Series in 1923. That's a sure way to lose a man. 98 ways to go. The third way to lose a man. You found your perfect mate, and it's been love from the start. He whispers, you're the one to who I give my heart. Don't say, I love you too, my dear. That's never, never part. Just say, I'm afraid you've made a grammatical error. <laughs> it's not to who I give my heart, it's to whom I give my heart. <laughs> See, with the use of the preposition to, who becomes the indirect object, making use of the word whom imperative, which I can easily show you by drawing a very simple chart. That's a fine way to lose a man A fine, 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 fine way to lose a man A dandy way to lose a man Just be more well-informed than he You'll never hear all promise me Just show him where his grammar errs Then mark your towels, hers and hers you too can lose your man if you just use 